In this presentation, we're going to describe how to set up a Word document for a report. In this case, it's a research report that we're setting up. So we'll do the following things. We'll add pages for different sections. We'll split the report into sections. We'll number pages according to the requirements for a report where there is no number on the title page. Subsequent preliminary pages are numbered using Roman numerals and from the introduction onwards the numbering is Arabic with the introduction beginning on page 1. We'll also add styles to headings and generate a table of contents from the styles. The version of Word that I'm using is Word 2016. The first page of this document is the title page and following the title page I'm going to insert a section break because there's a slight difference in numbering between the title page and the subsequent preliminary pages. To insert a search section break I go to layout breaks and under section breaks I click on next page. That inserts a section break and the next page typically that would be in a report is the abstract. So I'll put an abstract heading here just so that I know what I'm doing. The next page after that typically would be acknowledgements and I'm just inserting regular section page breaks here rather than section breaks and the next page typically would be table of contents so those are the only preliminary pages that I'm going to include you might have others including a list of figures or a list of tables or a glossary so because the next section of the report is the introduction again I'm going to include a new section break. So within layout again I go to breaks and next page under section breaks to create another section break. And the heading on this page will be introduction because it's the first page of the main content of the report. And I'll add another page break and my second main section will be a literature review. This is because this is a research report and my next page after that or my next section after that is a methodology. I won't add the subsequent sections but they would each um, begin on a separate page and they're all part of this main body of the report as far as sections are concerned. So we now have a document with three sections and seven pages and if you make sure that under home your paragraph markers are switched on you can actually see where the section breaks appear. So our next step is to insert page numbers and to do that we go to insert and click on page number. We're going to put the page numbers at the bottom of the page and we'll insert plain numbers. So at the moment my page numbers are in Arabic numbering. To change them to Roman numerals I can select the number and right click and I have an option called format page numbers. So the number format is Arabic numbering. I'm going to change it to Roman numerals and click on OK. I now have a number on my title page which is I for uh, Roman numeral for the first preliminary page and my second page because it's a different section is beginning with Arabic number two so we're going to format the page numbers again change it to Roman numerals I'll click on start at rather than continuing from previous section II and I'm also going to click on <coughs> click on OK and click on link to previous to disconnect it from the previous content. So now my page numbering continues for preliminary pages with Roman numerals and if I go back up to the first quest, the first page I should now be able to delete the page number uh, but still have a page number on my second and subsequent pages. So you'll see that all of the preliminary pages are numbered with Roman numerals. Unfortunately the introduction which is a new section begins on page 5 rather than page 1. I want this to begin on page 1 
So again, I'll select the page number and click on Format Page Numbers and I'll click on Start at 1, OK. And now my page numbers are in the order that I need them to be. So I have, as required, no number on the title page and the number on the abstract is II or Roman numeral 2 and all of my preliminary pages are using Roman numerals and my introduction begins with the number 1 Arabic numbering. So this is the format that we need for our page numbers. The next thing that I'm going to do is to select all of the headings that I want to be included in the table of contents and add a heading style to those and then automatically generate the table of contents. So to do that we go to the home button or the home ribbon um, in the word uh, menu and we don't want the title page to appear in the table of contents but I do want the abstract to appear so I'm going to click in the main body of the page select abstract and I'll apply a heading one style to it. Now you can obviously use alternative styles and you can also alter the appearance of the heading styles by right clicking on the style and clicking on modify but I'm just going to use the default word styles for each heading that I want to include. So I'm go I want the abstract and acknowledgements to appear in my table of contents. I don't want table of contents to appear in my table of contents. I want the introduction and subsequent chapter titles to appear in the table of contents. So I select each of these and apply the heading one style to them. And the next step is to go into the table of contents page and click where I want the table of contents to appear. And next I click on references and right over on the left hand side there's an option called table of contents. So when I click on that there are some different options for the appearance of a table of contents and you can see that the page numbers will be inserted automatically. The styles are slightly different and the um, headings will be intended if you use subheadings for so for heading two heading two for subheadings heading three for other and other uh, subsequent hierarchical styles so we're going to select automatic table two and what happens is um, we get actually I didn't need my heading here because we automatically get a table of contents heading and the abstract acknowledgements, introduction, bit review and methodology are all included here. And as I said, if you have subheading styles, those will be indented and they will look slightly different. And you can, of course, change the appearance of the styles as well. So you don't have to stick with what, what is automatically generated or created in Word. So one thing that you need to do before um, submitting your project is to update the page numbers because, for example, some sections might um, change. They might have more than one page and so your table of contents may change. So once you've created it, you can update the field afterwards by right clicking on the table of contents and clicking on update field and you can choose to update the page numbers only or update the entire table. And now our methodology has moved to page 4 because I inserted an extra page in the lit review so the page numbers have updated automatically. So that's a brief outline of how to set up your research report.